morning everybody, Jason Hollis Farms on the John Deere 5101 this morning with the MX-10 cutter behind it. Had some, uh, some bearing issues on the PTO shaft on the cutter. Uh, finally figured out why, uh, what was going on. The shaft kept coming off, whatever. Anyway, had a bearing that had gone bad, ended up. Anyway, we got a guy that does a lot of our tractor mechanic and work got that taken care of uh, and instead of getting the 7210 back out I got just a little bit of the big stuff to do so uh, we decided to do it with the 5101 and I uh, got a couple rows that I want to work on here just a little bit too. It's going to be a beautiful day, plenty dry enough to do what we want to do. Should be starting some logging before long. This section right here it's just a little bit rough. I got the cutter raised up just a little bit. I just want to knock it back. Go slow. A little bit knocked out. We'll be done with this most of this power line. So I am not really ready to uh, cut these roads yet, but I got a few limbs that's hanging over. Golly, it's dusty. A few limbs that's hanging over that I want to cut. And the grass is tall enough and it's, these old rattlesnakes and moccasins is crawling. So I want to come in here with the Milwaukee limb saw and cut them. So I'm going to cut some of this grass back. So if we do have them rattlesnake or a moccasin or something hiding in the bushes we can see them or maybe they won't be there i ain't got but a few i cut several of these last year of course these pine trees grow it's got a few i want to cut just to where i can cut the ditches better and uh, get them off the tractor clean my windows up pretty good when it started but it's gonna be dusty again now I decided if it's a spot I ain't gonna cut a limb. I cut the track, cut the PTO off. It's dusty. We'll kind of cut as we go. So I came up here the other day and made one pass down through there with the 5065. I'm gonna start logging on the other side of this tall timber when we start this year. We've got a clear cut over here and uh, this is gonna be a good fire lane right here. So I'm gonna clip it a couple of times this summer and get it real tight, get all this tall stuff ground up and rotted out. And that way I can come in here with the grain drill I want clover down through here be our uh, full-time fire lane, food plot, strutting area, and all that good stuff. So I'll probably end up burning this maybe next winter. So go ahead and establish our food plot here, and we won't have to do a whole lot. May have to disc a lane, but hopefully it'll be real green, and we won't have to do much. Usually just bush hog this once a year. We're going to clip it a couple of times, get it back in shape. Well, when the 
got dusty on that road a while ago. Oh, there is some briars coming on out there in that clear cut. It grows up this summer. They ought to really be bedding in there. Probably turkeys nesting out there this year. Turning out real good. Smooth down here too, we'll just be able to run a drill right down through it. I may spray it one time. out there where we burn this winter is coming on strong boy a lot of food a lot of bed and a lot of nesting gotta get that daylight on the ground all about the sunshine y'all so i know it's been a while that's my fault let's get to today's bible verse still on the word abundance ephesians chapter 5 verse 10 he who loves money will not be satisfied with money nor he who loves abundance with its income this too is vanity all right so not just a ton going on today but we did get quite a bit accomplished on the 5101 love that little tractor it is perfect for for uh the roads and them small fields and lanes and stuff i, I don't mind the 7210 and that back wing doing that stuff you just end up having to you cover some a lot of ground but you end up having to pick it up and this and that and i just like to use it for that big power line and stuff like that and then the 5101 is just super handy but anyway appreciate y'all watching right out of here